Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to stream number 12 of my Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories playthrough. Hope everybody is well. Just uh, before we get into everything, I just wanted to say apologies. There was no stream last week. Unfortunately, I sustained uh, an injury and... I was actually down at the uh, emergency room last this time last week. Uh, I injured my back and I was in excruciating pain. But uh, I'm happy to report that everything is all better. And we are good now, ready to stream again. And as a result, I'm actually planning on doing a double stream this week. So I also continue... Uh, sorry, I also plan to be streaming again on Friday night to catch up with Rechain of Memories. Not only to catch up, but also because I am planning on, on the back of my Rechain of Memories playthrough to jump into Talos Principle 2, of course. So yeah, I don't want to get too far behind with that. So double stream this week, Wednesday and Friday. Last time out, though, we uh, I think we completed the first four floors in uh, Riku's story here. We just defeated Captain Hook in Netherland. So we are uh, about to head off to a new floor. And in between streams as well, I've also completed a second playthrough, slot three there, of Sora's um, story. So I have completed the Proud Mode playthrough in my Platinum Quest. And I have also now done everything on my main file that I can do um, to aid me towards the Platinum Quest. I now can no longer go any further on my main file until I have completed Sora's story, uh, Riku's story, sorry, here. So without further ado, let's um, open up the save and away we go. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Um, thank you for the... Um, well wishes. I appreciate it. Feeling loads better. Um, like I say, I just honestly, I couldn't move or anything last week. Uh, my entire back was just in a spasm and I was in a lot of pain. But I'd say I've um, feel a lot better tonight and this week. So, yeah, my former painkillers, all my meds, things are looking a lot better than they were. All right, so back to the playthrough. Uh, we're heading up to basement eight here. What's happening to Sora? Namine's powers are being used to shuffle his memories as we speak. Marluxia may well succeed in getting his puppet. Sora would be a valuable asset to the organization. But Marluxia and Laxine's actions, they leave me quite uneasy. And then there is Axel. Who knows what that one is thinking? Vexen should take care of this. His replica is soon to be completed. But Vexen despises Marluxia. Think of the mess it would make. So we must tell him. Isn't it better that Vexen clean up the mess than leave it to us? Quite interesting, like seeing this part of the story. There's clearly a divide between the two, um, like, well, there's two factions, it seems, within the organization. Some that um, kind of seem to be getting on, and others that don't. Uh, you got almost 30 hours in Talos 2. Well, I hope you're enjoying it so far, Pyrrhus. Hope it's everything that you hope for. I know how much you were looking forward to the game. Okay, we are off to Travis Town next. And I will be back in two seconds. Just need to do a quick errand for my wife. I have returned. Uh, hey, neighbors, what's going on? Good to see you. Uh, you're not sure how to answer my question. You just don't want to give even a minor thoughts on the game. You'd rather wait until you've played it. Okay. All right. That's fair, that's fair enough. Um, Papyrus, not a problem if that's what you want. I mean, it's just literally a simple, are you enjoying the game? 
kind of question, but I appreciate your, your response there that you don't want to give anything away. All right, so uh, here we go. We're at Travis Town, and I need to... One thing I wasn't doing before is using slights. So, uh, sorry, I wasn't dueling, sorry. So, not really sure. Wow, these are... I wanted to kind of like try working on dueling because something that I hadn't done previously. One thing I thought about possibly was potentially like spamming. Um, spamming my attack. When I a duel comes up. But I, clearly there's, like, it's not just going to be a case that I can spam um, my moves. I do kind of genu genuinely need to think about what I'm doing on jewels, it seems. For that, I can't just spam. So... Interesting. If only better cards were available. Hey, neighbors. I mean, the slight and the dark bonuses still work. Which is something, I guess. Just gonna kind of Sora for some? Yeah. I mean, the amount of time I've put into Sora um, over the last um, week and a bit, I'm sure he's got a few that he can lend me. Jeez. not too bad, as I guess. Just like looking at the cards there, it was kind of like in my order, but I've just got to go back up to the nine first. I'm guessing dueling and the cards used to the duel isn't going to be the same every time though, so one thing I guess to uh, be wary of. Too slow. I do quite like the instant reload thing, though. Okay, so it seemed like for dueling, those cards at the start of my deck seem to be the ones I need to use, but depending on who I'm fighting, it kind of seems to depend on what order I need to use them in. So we even need to go um, ascending or descending, it seems, so far. Uh, So, kind of reading from that, those, those three cards at the start of my deck seem very important. It's just that I need to be very wary of how I use them. So we'll keep that in mind as we 
move on here through Traverse Town and try to get a little bit better with jewels. Don't want to rely on slights all the time like I did in my other. Um, what I did in my other playthroughs. Okay, see there. So yeah. That's right, Pure Pierce, don't worry about it. Absolutely no problem at all. Okay. Okay. Dueling is definitely powerful. I wanted to buy views, no pass. I'll buy you some tomorrow. So. Yeah, the one thing I've just got to be wary of here is... Um, The experience. The experience is like a little bit yikes on this game because you actually have to pick everything up. So if I'm like concentrating too much on jewels, I'm gonna um, gonna miss picking up the experience, which isn't great. So I need to really keep that in mind, I guess, as I go through. Um, I'm also kind of thinking um, the, the speed we're leveling up here. I have to look out for some um, tips when it comes around to um, getting Riku to max level here. They've got weaker cards here, so I should be alright, like, just spamming the... Yeah, because it's a, car a room with weaker cards, we're okay to a certain degree of, like, spamming our, um... Cards here. So, that's cool. Yeah, learning more, I guess, about Riku's story here. And how Riku plays. Um, raise the attack points. Is that how Fable works? No, Paz, I, I don't I played Fable. I don't know a lot about Fable, so hard to. Up me to gauge. I kind of see what's happening now with jewels, like looking at it a bit more as well. Like, as I add a card to a jewel, it just creates a slight. So rather than like using a slight and spamming my cards like I have been in Sora's playthrough, I'm using them like a little bit more cautiously here. Yes. But you don't kind of like lose them, I guess, is the way I can kind of describe this. It's having that time limit, you've got to be very careful about, I guess. We don't have cards here. Yeah, it's uh, classic bot behavior. Uh, furious.
too slow. Well, what have we all been up to then, guys? Other than uh, obviously, prepare as you've been playing Talos, and uh, Nepo, you've been playing Resident Evil 4. But, uh, been up to anything else, guys? Anything of interest? Trying to gauge like whether or not the dueling's good, but I feel like it takes up a lot of time, and I could probably end the battles a lot quicker. Maybe it's not worth it on these little, these like smaller, easier bosses. I feel like. Yeah, with the, especially in like this room where the Heartless are doing one damage. Pretty much card break any attack that they use, so... Doctress! How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Had a good week. Uh, what have you missed? You haven't missed a lot at all. We just getting started here. Good to see you as always. You have a lot of fil filters to weed out the bots, Napaz. Yeah, makes sense. I'm sorry to hear that, Doctoress. Like Losing that. I've had a bit of a yikes week, but for other reasons. I was um, in stream last week, unfortunately, because I was... Uh, in hospital this time last week. I had a, a back injury, which I've fully recovered from now, thankfully. So yeah, I was uh, reason for no stream last week. But I am happy to report I am back to my full health, normal self. Quite a nice weekend on Morphine and Diazepam and a whole host of um, painkillers, which was interesting. But yeah, I've uh, just uh, look uh, weed off all of those this week. Yeah, Doctor Who. Um, Evan asked me earlier on actually um, this morning. You can't remember when you actually said it was back on when you were talking about it the other week. So we had a bit of a conversation about that this morning. 
always good to have something to look forward to. like a lot of things with Jodie Whittaker in recently I didn't um yeah there's a lot of things on TV at the moment with her in it it's quite interesting like Sora's natural reload was as quick as Riku's made for a cheese your experience going through uh, Sora's story right, let's try a hand at a uh, slightly harder room here That's really good, uh, Papyrus. I think we had that conversation before where I think, to be honest, you'll feel like a greater sense of achievement by not watching videos and being able to say that, you know, you did it yourself. So, no, good on you. Well done. I couldn't understand why Napaz, I mean, he's um, an absolutely phenomenal actor. Although looking back at um, David Tennant then and looking back at him now, it's like crazy how much he's, he's aged since he was Doctor Who. Honestly, thought like I would struggle a little bit more in this harder room, but say so far, been too bad. He says, seem to have come up against some harder foes here, though. down and watched the Eccleston episodes and we saw most tenants go and kept up with Xbox episodes as the days of events and things died down college and uni not really liking Smith yeah I suppose it, it's it's a bit of a funny show really because of their constant kind of like changing the actor and like the main character like if you don't feel as connected to the actor themselves I guess it can kind of ruin it a little bit for people so I've never really thought about it like that before, to be fair.
One thing I'm still not like sure on here, whether or not there's like any balancing on the leveling up with um, Riku here. if you can just like max out on certain things or if it it kind of seemed like when we played it a couple of weeks ago that was the case that you could only do certain a certain amount of things at a time but now i'm not so sure no worries doctress are you uh are you trying out any of the uh pre-release stuff yet or are you playing vanilla Well, no, I think it's. Uh, I don't think I did respond to be fair, Mika. But um, like I say, I think it's great that you're taking that um, that approach. I just called you Mika as well. Nefarious. Sorry. I honestly thought I'd got out of the habit of saying that. but it, it annoys me when I do it so I do apologize I do apologize This is the month you graduate. So how many more um how many more assignments have you got left to do? Just two. I hope you treated yourself to a nice bottle of vino to uh, celebrate. Hope you got yourself a nice bottle when you went to that um, farmer's market uh, that you were telling me about the other week. Not over until it's over. Is that what you're trying to say, Napads?
Well, like I say, I've got nothing against you winning the lottery now. Paz just, you know, all in line behind me. Yeah. Well, I always say I'm going to win the lottery, and then um, how many lottery tickets do you actually think I buy? It sounds like one, but with an extra layer on it. You bought the most tickets of your life today? You buy two. Zero is higher than zero. Not sure, I agree. Yeah, I don't, I don't play the lorry. Doctor of Seasons, to be fair. We're um, not really a big gambler altogether. Um, kind of like tried to stay away from casinos my whole life, but I might actually have... I can't avoid it this year because my work's Christmas party is actually... We're going to a casino, so... I don't know, like, whether I'll actually enjoy it or not. I've just never, like, really been interested in gambling as a whole. Um, I feel like indirectly it's due to um, like my father-in-law. He was... Um, he was a big gambler on horses, but he also um, basically lost my wife's family's life savings because of gambling. So, although you know, I've kind of haven't known my wife all my life, um, I just no, I've never really been into gambling. I think that kind of like has a thing for me of why I'm not really that bothered about it, not interested. So. Ruined your life two, yeah, two decades ago. Yeah, it's... Um, I think, as they always say, people think, you know, that they, they win and stuff, but it's only ever the casino that wins or the people, like, behind the, the betting establishment. Are the own, they're the only ever, ever... Only those people are the winners. Nobody else is a winner when it comes to gambling. I mean, you hear a lot of horror stories, like, just people in general. Like, um, the amount of people I've heard who have been to, like, Vegas and, like, told me stories about how the casinos operate, and it's so shady. It's crazy. Just not the sort of thing that I'm really interested in so you know as I always say they're each their own if and if you're a person that enjoys having a flutter and keeps it under control then fair, fair play to you but yeah, it's not really a something that really appeals to me
House always wins. I think we're all in the same bracket now, Paz. I know me and Pyrrhus are exactly in the same age group. So what I've learned like here tonight so far is that dueling can be good. But I don't think it's really necessary for like these little battles here. There's nothing really that I've come across here where I'm kind of thinking to myself, okay, I need to duel here. So it's interesting. I think it's probably for more probably some like harder battles down the line somewhere which will probably need to be pulled out potentially playing with the slides i don't really feel like i need to use slides too much here either maybe it's just like the point in the game where we are at the minute but yeah there's nothing really that's majorly difficult I don't feel that I need to use them which is interesting as well because I am playing doing this Riku blind run as well on proud mode so This makes such a difference, though, like being able to reload really quickly. Level cards, uh, the levels themselves are definitely a lot shorter. It's like a rapid bonus there, I think it just said. That's quite interesting. Not sure what that is. That's a shame to hear, Doctress. But I mean, I, I've had moments like that before where I've kind of been really into something and kind of get burnt out uh, with with things but sometimes I kind of feel like I put myself under too too much pressure like when I'm trying to learn something new I have a tendency to like go like full hog into something rather than kind of pacing myself um, so sometimes 
although you kind of like you're really into something and, and you want to learn a bit and you want to get better with it you kind of have a people have a tendency to like to do too much in too much of a short space of time if that makes sense which ultimately can lead into the burnout i mean it's kind of like how i feel my whole entire i'm a mapping journey when i was kind of all in it and when i was on a a project i was kind of like okay I've, I've got to stick with it i've got to do it i've got to do it and i would spend hours and hours and hours at a time rather than kind of like trying to learn it gradually and yeah there, there's no rush with the, there was never any rush with the project i was never I'd ever set like a time frame or a, a time restriction to be able to complete the project myself it was just always crap out like it was a restriction that i'd placed on myself because it was something new and it was something that i was trying to learn but by doing that, it kind of goes completely up the opposite direction. So, um, yeah, sorry to hear about that, but maybe like I'm trying to get to is like taking a break from it will probably do you the world of good. So, you know, don't um, necessarily look at it as a failure or that you know you kind of giving up on it. Take a break, see how you feel in kind of like a few weeks time or something, and maybe you'll get a bit of inspiration back and. I don't want to um, get back to it, but yeah, definitely take a break is the most important thing I would say. But don't think that you're a failure and don't think that um, you can't do it because clearly you've already proven to yourself that you can do it. Just, just take whatever time you feel you need and uh, go from there, buddy. It's an HP. analogy doesn't matter Papyrus I can completely understand what you're trying to say so absolutely fine makes complete sense to me Definitely good to take things and do things in moderation. Yeah, it's definitely a it's definitely a sensible thing to do, Doctress. Take a break, come back to it, see how you feel in a couple of weeks. Maybe even um, moving away from your current focus and um, coming up with like a new project. Maybe that will breathe some life and inspiration back into yourself. But most importantly, like I say, take a break and go back to it when you're ready. And have a kick cap. That's. Um, Probably the most important bit of advice there from Napaz. Having a kick out.
But when Napaz wins the lottery this week, you know, he can buy us all Kit Kats. That's not a problem. is here. What is going on, Hypes? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. We're just about to um, take on the guard armor here. Like I said to you before, though, uh, Doctors, please do not never ever compare yourself to other people. Such all up. Uh, okay, we're, we're messing this up. Guys are cabin in the woods. With your boyfriend's family over the weekend. Hope you don't get scared. <laughs> Just don't watch like Evil Dead before you go, and I'm sure you'll be fine. What? Too slow. to like duel this guy in time this is crazy Come on. determined i'm gonna do it though there we go yeah. like it. wow So, yeah, I'm... Bad at this. Really bad at this. <laughs> you go. One card again. There's a gimmick card. I want the gimmick card. 
Come to me. Give me a card. No! I promise my three don't work. I may shift up to who's six reverse, but with my burnout, that'll have to be done after the 60th anniversary. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's it's you was doing something to celebrate something in your own time. So I kind of said, don't feel like there's any pressure. There'll never be any pressure there for you to um like complete it. That's what I mean, if, if that makes sense. Do it in your own time when you're ready, Doctoress. Take as much time as you want. What? I pressed that there. go into DP mode here. because I've used too many cards for slides, but... Uh, I felt like DP mode was, like, working better for me there than the slides, uh, than the dueling.
All right, so we got a couple of jewels. We got a couple of jewels up there, and then we was able to get a couple of gimmick cards, which kind of seemed to help us. So maybe a combination, combination, a combination of the two kind of works there. So um, question about what one is ready to sacrifice, one is ready to be all those like people usually have several things to take notes on. It's better to put it life in order and do things bit by bit. Yeah, I agree. Burning out on something is not fun at all. I should probably use enemy cards. I've just realized. I'm like on the just like finished the fifth floor here. And I've not used a single enemy card. for me like when I've looked at new things and I've taken on projects where kind of like doing something new and I feel like and I put myself under like pressure to kind of do things in a, in a set time limit I think a lot of my problem is because I'm learning something new I feel like if I don't push myself and continually do it and do sorry. if I don't push myself and do something like really quickly within like a, um, a relatively quick time frame from when I originally um, started the project or started doing whatever I was doing I I worry that I will forget what I have learned and I think that's what kind of relates to a lot of my burnout and why I push myself so much because I think when I learn when I'm learning something new I want to just throw myself in it and just keep reminding myself over and over again because like the best way to learn something is by doing so I just want to keep doing it in an attempt to like keep learning stuff and hope that I retain that memory but it's not definitely not sustainable to do that because um yeah you do end up with burnout um all right onwards we go